Good evening everyone, welcome back to The Kitchen Table. Today on The Kitchen Table we're talking props and uh, it's the new upgrade props that I was sent being put through their paces and compared with the stock prop and the E300 thrust boosted props which they look the same as but are they the same? Well I'm still not sure but before we go any further as ever on this channel because we're on The Kitchen Table we must always have a beverage of choice when we're discussing things such as this so um, this evening it's this rather nice Chateau Neuf du Pape I've been sent on Cuvée Special from 2012. So, um, cheers. Mm. Very good. So, props. As you know, uh, I was sent by DJI the upgrade prop, the upgrade ESC, and the upgrade motors. So that people who've got the original Mark I, Phantom II, and Vision Plus can, at some point when they're released, upgrade to the same uh, propulsion system as is on the the new version 2 P2 and Vision Plus. Um, so one of the first things that was easiest for me to, to test out was um, when, was the props and I've obviously wanting to look at the comparison between the stock, uh, the uh, upgrade which I've cunningly written a U on and the E300 the thrust boosted which I've written an E on that's how I was able to keep track of them all. Um, so the first thing that I wanted to do was just look at anything that was noticeably different. Uh, and the first thing is the, the actual pitch uh, of the prop, as you'd expect, because we've gone from, you know, the the stock prop, which is obviously a 9443, as it says up there, then you won't be able to see, and I don't know why I'm showing you, and the new props, which are 9450s. So there's a, an obvious, there's an obvious difference in the actual profile of the prop. One of the main things that I noticed as soon as I picked them up and started playing with them was a massive difference, or at least it appeared to me and felt to me a massive difference in the flexibility. Just how much of a difference, I came up with a cunning idea to show you, and we'll go over now. As you can see, this is the stock prop with, I was trying to get 150 grams, but that's not bad. 151 grams of pressure, and you can see the amount of bend on a stock prop. That's holding it at the hub and pressing down with 150 grams. If we now switch over, this is the new upgrade prop with 150 grams. Much, much, much stiffer, as you can tell. So, um, so yeah, a definite difference there in the construction and the and the, the kind of the, the, the density of the material and the stiffness, uh, possibly the material itself. Um, <clears throat> now, the next thing that I wanted to look at was um, the weight. Um, and so I weighed these all. Uh, the stock prop uh, came in at 13.1 grams. The upgrade prop came in at 13.2, which surprised me. And the, the thrust boosted E300 came in at 13.5. Now, whether that's within tolerances, I don't know. The 13.1, the 13.2, you would think was in, within tolerance, but 13.5, I'm not sure. The other thing I noticed when having a look at um, the the upgrade prop compared to the E300 uh, is the what appeared to be a noticeable to my eyes anyway but I wasn't sure if I was being a notable difference in the thickness of the leading edge at the tip um, which is odd because they're ostensibly you know supposed to be the same or so people are thinking so I got my calipers out and as you can see there is a difference and I've measured them across the stock prop which is much thinner than either of the two and then the uh, upgrade prop that I was sent and the E300 thrust boosted. And again, you can see there is a difference between the E300 uh, and the upgrade prop. Now, I don't know what the manufacturing tolerances are um, and whether those are within the tolerances because I've only got one set to, to, to look at and measure. Um, but I just thought that was interesting. Um, you know, if anyone has some some calipers and some of the E300s which are, have been available for a while, if you can just double check that yours are the same, then maybe these upgrade ones are very slightly different. Maybe they're a sort of a tweak on these. The same pitch and, and size, but they may have changed the materials or something? We don't know. Anyway, the important thing we wanted to know, didn't we, was does just adding the upgraded uh, prop to your existing system do anything for you? So what I did was I took my P2, which is quite a fat thing, the takeoff weight of my P2 is 1,393 grams, so it's a smidge under 1,400 grams. Um, and, and, and basically what I did was I did two hover tests. I used 
the same P2 with the same amount of gear on it and the same battery which is a fairly fresh one it's the one that came with the vision plus um, and i used it made sure it had the latest firmware and the p2 is uploaded uh, up, updated to the latest firmware the only thing that i did in the intervening period between these two flights was charge the battery and that was it we had a nice calm day light winds very similar conditions and i just hovered it so let's have a look at those don't worry there was some fast forwarding so let's have a look what we got from 100 percent battery switching the timer on at point of takeoff and stopping the timer when i first got the first flashing lights that indicated the first stage battery warning so let's go have a look So as you can see, the new upgrade prop gave us a roughly 30 seconds less flight time. Now that's actually, when you think about it, not at all surprising. If you look at the difference between, I'm sure I'm making it these two, let's just sandwich them together. You can, you can see that the, there's a, a lot more air being moved. There we go, there's the curve. There's a lot more air being moved with this upgrade prop. And the motors are therefore going to have a little bit more, uh, a little bit more resistance on them as it moves that air around. What will be very interesting, though, is given that that, that much bigger amount of um, air movement mounted up on the on the new upgraded props and the new ESCs, whether we'll see a significant time increase. Um, so we'll just see. So there we are. That's some interesting early looks. Um, I'm going to count up, as you remember on my video before, I said, look, what do you guys want me to, to, to upgrade? Do you want me to upgrade the P2 or the Vision Plus? It's a closer on thing, but it's looking like the P2 is going to get there. Unless there's a radical uh, shift, I think we'll be upgrading the P2, which does make sense if you ask me. It's the heavier thing that I've got, and therefore there'll be a, a more, uh, I guess we, we'll, we'll see a, um, a more benefit from doing that. 
Um, but the process of updating is pretty much the same across uh, across the both both aircraft. They're the same airframe. So uh, that will be coming up uh, over the next couple of days while I get my soldering iron out, and I'll be videoing that process and making all the mistakes so that you don't have to. Um, so there we go. That's just a little up update on the props. Like I said, any feedback that you've got with measurements of your thrust boosted, it'd be very interesting to see if that's within tolerance or whether there is a slight difference. I guess we won't know until we hear something from DJI. But thank you very much for joining me on the kitchen table, and I look forward to seeing you again here soon. Until then, cheers.